There we go, Monster Mash. And this is it. Just opened up the um, new Dark Nebula nap. Let's have a go. Look at all this lot. Look at that. Whew. Right, there it is. Let me get into all this. Right guys, just catching back up again. Um, it got a bit mad yesterday. I started recording and then it just went straight into IRS runs with the corp members and everyone getting new those new things and <laughs> learning it as it went. Um, it's uh, it's still a bit hectic. Everyone's still getting used to it. Um, it's good. There's a lot of good things, a few bad things. Um, still that visual bug. Um, where is it? On your artifact bus boost, like now where I can hold it, you see its range. But when you go in a red star to run that, that range disappears. So you just got to know that you're generally close enough to the planet to use it. Um, now I think I've noticed any other bugs, really. That's the only one I've spotted so far. Um, planets are all upgraded at the moment. The ones that were need to be brought up to 23, so you get a free upgrade. So it's all you usually start planets which are all at level 15 in normal heads and get an auto um, upgrade. Um, a little bit of an annoying thing was my harvester was up at, was upgrading to level 8. And now, because the buildings have now changed and you are, um, your yeah, buildings are stuck to your our red, red star level, it means it's been adjusted and I've no longer got an upgrade, which was a bit of a, a bit of a, um, bit of a kicker, really. Um, but that adjusts with your cap because you, your RS level goes to your cap as well. Um, but yeah, generally, um, I'm happy with everything. Um, it's still going really, really well. Um, I did some RS runs yesterday. Um, Hydro has been pretty good, although, um, although I did what? What did I do yesterday? I did. I did four. I ended up doing four runs in the end. Um, and all what you see here, all my Hydro in my system, coach for the four runs I did. Um, but although granted it wasn't my maximum level, which is level eight, so I still haven't got the flow yet or my ship setups. So like a lot of us in my corp currently are running um, fives and sixes just to get the get the ship builds right, because um, that's what we're we're all kind of figuring out together. Um, I've kind of got my hand there, but I'm just not confident yet to go. Um, go higher up. Now I did from our recording yesterday, or literally a few seconds ago before we like crossed over. Um, I did in between buy. Now I don't often buy in games, but I did for this one because this is it helps big time. I did buy the um, the starter pack one, and it reduces the ships considerably um because otherwise it's just like a ridiculous um it's i mean ships are let me think what there was before there was 160 there was one there uh, there was eight eight hundred um before then on the battleships so taking that off as um um it makes a big difference and for five pound in my terms because I'm it's British pounds or not, uh, I think it works out similar in dollars as well it's worth it honestly everybody I'd, I'd put into that um, I probably won't get the next one so you've got start back there start back two now these gives you the um sh um um, or increases your shipments on your moons and trade stations by 20% and also gives you 40% boost on your artifacts with your record, uh, for your blueprints which I think that's pretty damn handy as well and it's a permanent both of these are permanent upgrades I think that's a massive massive important thing 
So yeah, I think that's a it's gonna be a good um a good one to get. Um, um and I need to start doing my wall planes really. Um I haven't done much of my credit things yesterday, I didn't do much of the shipments. Did a bit of relay. Um I mean relay is brilliant. Um if you run, if you want to run the ma maximum bonuses out your relay, it's going to cost you mega mega money on your on your hydro. Um, let me just pick it up. I did do it right then. Well, I was doing it right. Um, no, I just I just run it's fair. I'm up to level five with it, so that's quite a bit per sector. And by the time you go around your full planets and trade stations, that's a lot of a lot of hydro used. Um, so. I mean, to fair, I just run it. I, I just run it on. If I'm gonna just, if I want an eco run, just run it on level one. Want a little bit of a bonus? Do it on level two. Um, it's you know, in the end of the day, it gets you done quickly. Um, trade burst works and drones. If you want to do it manually, you don't really use much hydro moving your ships around, so it can be done either way. Um, for me, it's quickness. I like the relay for quickness, and I can soon get the, um, soon get it back with my harvesting and things. So, um, now I did put a lot of time and effort, and it's still going on to be fair in my replicator. And it was obviously the the devs of the game mentioned this as well that you really should put your money into this. Um, so I did invest, and this is going up now to level eight. Um, I mean, level seven, it's all right. Um, um, now there's nothing's changed weapon wise. Um, it's got. Yeah, um, I think we're generally finding out. I mean, I've got level. I've got level nine laser. Yeah, some people are saying it's rubbish, but I'm running. I'm running blues and reds easy enough with it. Um, batteries, I think. I just have that a little bit more of an edge. I'll probably, I will probably put a bit more into that. Um, when, when I'm into it a bit more, I won't open my game chat because the guys are just they're in full flight at the moment, um, chatting about what's happening. Um, uh, solitude, wonderful weapon. That uh, is just the unity changing into solitude. Brilliant. Um, it yeah, it's yeah, it ramps up. That's how. My lasers, uh, lasers and blues work pretty well. Um, just nice little touches like that. Um, no, uh, your drones are all different. But rocket drones are fine. Starting to get used to these rocket drones. These are pretty damn useful. Like it shows you there. Use it on the sector before. Um, it really is helpful. And send your ships in with it, giving you support. Brilliant. King Heads, who I wear, I know he watches these videos and he's gonna love it because I've shouted him out. Um, he has become a bit of a, a master in our corp at using these things and he's doing it in blues and all sorts. He's doing really well with them. He seems to have good success. So I aim to follow, follow in his footsteps with that one. Um, Leap still does damage upon landing, which is really, really bloody cool. For that, you can leap to a decoy drone, amazing. And then, there we go, and just dropping up. Yeah, yeah, just tactics, great tactics coming up. Um, and we think what else is going on, which I've really enjoyed so far. Um, I think of what else I've got up. Um, I'm putting laser turret on. I haven't didn't really use it in um in Headstar um original. So doing it this time because upgrading is quite cheap for getting some of these things unlocked, so yeah, really good. Um, um achievements as the usual three hundred in crunch, easily doing that with what I've got. Um there we go, you get daily rewards, that's always handy, that's nice. Um, um yeah, um barring me from doing some blue blue red star runs, blue stars are still still as they are. 
Uh, I love our, I do love, that's one thing I do love, um, I love this automation, automatic vengeance, putting the shield on, if it's not on cooldown, using it with a mega shield or something like that, brilliant, love it, makes vengeance really useful, especially in reds, um, and I love it's the same with the stealth weapon, I'm just finding which ones I've set up for my red runs, um, this one, say stealth, it's the same, Auto enables, look at that, auto enables, absolutely amazing. Saves you, saves you if you're not used to the new way the interceptors run around. Um, yeah, I think that's it really. Um, God, yeah, um, I'll do some more gameplays. As we go, I just wanted to put this like little update in the first like time. I was trying to do it in the first day of it being open, but it just got so crazy yesterday. I just can continue with recording this. Um so I thought I'd just give it another another go today. Um and just quickly go through everything. Um I'm looking around just to and like show you what it's all about at the moment. It's all it's all good. Um you can see drone spam, where's my drone drone? Um Um, and it's only that. Get your bonus instantly with them. We just run out of hydro, that's all. So, investing in your shipment drones. Probably will help. Um, Put in for your second, that's 100k. Put in for your second um, blueprint research, amazing, helps you big time. Um, yeah, it's just good. I, I do enjoy it. I mean, I'm enjoying this at the moment. Um, just need some more walk mates put together. Um, which of these are much, much, much cheaper. Let's go down and look at that. 200. Just brilliant. I wish the original game had these. This cheap. Brilliant. Love it. Enjoy that change. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave you at that. I'm going to get back to doing some more runs, get a bit more confident, and then I'll show you how, we're, uh, um, how the uh, white dwarf and yellow dwarf crews roll these... Uh, Red stars out. Um, yeah. I'll uh, I'll see you in a little while, guys.